Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I got another status pro game for you. Today's game will be the 1970 New York Mets visiting the 19 or the 2019 Arizona Diamondbacks. And um, on the mound today for the Diamondbacks will be Robbie Ray, one of their aces of 2019, and the ace of the, perhaps the ace, maybe co-ace with Tom Seaver of the 1970 uh, New York Mets, uh, Jerry Kuzman will be on the mound for the Mets. Uh, Jerry Kuzman um, will be a uh, an SR 14, so he'll start at 14, and uh, Robbie Ray is an SR 15, so he starts at 15. I am going to be using the dice rolling. Um, if you uh, haven't uh, figured it out by now, I have a home rules session uh, way that I do the uh, uh, determinations. I do use the fast action deck, but I use it um, heavily in conjunction with the dice. And I, it's kind of a hybrid between the advanced version of Status Pro and, um, it, you know, and the, uh, the basic, basic uh, version of Status Pro. But it isn't quite, because I do make up my own... Um, CD and BD for the two D6 rolls, and the Z rating is on a 10 on the two D8s. So um, it's kind of, uh, it's my home rules. You could go back, uh, the previous one that I, uh, the previous game that I put up um, explains how I do it. But enough of that, let's get on with this. The Mets are the visiting team, and they will be batting first with Tommy Agee stepping in against Robbie Ray. And it is a six on the two dice, and so Robbie Ray is in charge, and uh, the roll is a uh, 54 on Tommy Agee, and a 54 is a strikeout. So Tommy Agee goes down on strikes. There is one down. That brings up Buddy, Buddy Harrelson. That's going to be a 10, so Bud Harrelson is in charge, and it is an 82, and an 82 is definitely going to be an out, um, and we'll flip the card, and he is an SN. SN is uh, G6A, so there's going to be a possible um, error. We'll flip for the error, and there is none, so it's two away. Buddy Harrelson is out. And that brings on Cleon Jones. And that's a five. Robbie Ray is in charge. And it is a 16. That will probably be a base hit. And no, it isn't. It isn't. It's a strikeout. Robbie Ray strikes out Cleon Jones. And the Mets go one, two, three in the first inning, and that brings up the Diamondbacks, who will have Gerard Dyson leading off. He's playing center field today for the uh, Diamondbacks. And that is a seven, and that uh, Jerry Kuzman is in charge. And um, this is an 11. A roll of 11, and that is going to be a single for Gerard Dyson. So he gets a base hit, and that brings Cattell Marte to the plate. That's a six, so um, Kuzman is in charge again, and that is a 68, and a 68 is an out, and uh, we will pick, he is a, um, a BP, and um, that is 
F5, so that is, what is that? One away. One away, and David Provolt is up. That is an eight, so that Peralta is in charge on this, and it is a 62, and that is going to be a walk. So David Peralta walks, there's two men on with only one out. And Eduardo Escobar, Escobar, that's a four, Kuzman is in charge, and it is a roll of 55. And on a 55, that is an out. We pick the card. He has a BP. And that is a... Uh, let's see. An F4. So he's out. Is that the second out? Yeah, that's the second out. And uh, Christian Walker, the first baseman, comes up to the plate to face Kuzman. Kuzman in charge again. He's been in charge a lot on these. These have gone uh, his way on the rolls. But that's a 16, and a 16 is going to be a single to center field. And they could send Dyson. And uh, let's see here. Runners advancing bases home on any single to the outfield. Dyson is an A, OBR, and the throwing arm of the center fielder for the Mets is a 3. So, uh, A, and a 3 is an 11 to 56. They're going to try that. And... Uh, and that is a 78, and he's gunned. Gunned at the plate, and that's the last out. They don't score. Gerard Dyson couldn't get home on that. So no runs come in for the Diamondbacks. We go to the top of the second. And Mike Jorgensen is up for the Mets. That is a 10. It's going to be on Jorgensen's card, and it is a 42, and on a 42, he gets a strikeout. Jorgensen strikes out, and also, I forgot, Kuzman, we have to reduce him, like, three. Yeah. So let's uh, make sure we stay on top of that. 10 Boswell is the batter. And that's a 10. Boswell is in charge, but it's an 87, so he's going to be out. He's an LN. We'll check it on LN. And all go G4, so with a possible error. And the error says none. So he is out. And there are two down very quickly for the Mets with... Ron Swoboda. Swoboda gets a four, so Robbie Ray is in charge on this. And that is a 56. And 56 is a pass ball, so we will um, we'll roll it again. And that is a 72. Or no, a 27. That's a 27. And a 27 is... That's a strikeout. So Swoboda goes down on strikes and the Mets go very quickly there in the second. We go to the bottom of the second. And Adam Jones is the batter. Remember Adam Jones? He was on the uh, Orioles for many years. That is a four. So Kuzman is in charge and it is a 65. And that's going to be an out. And Adam Jones is an RN. And all go G6 with a possible error. And the error is none. So there is an out. Adam Jones is out. Leading off the second for the Diamondbacks. And Nick Ahmed, the shortstop, is up next. That's a five. And Kuzman is in charge. And it is a 54. And it is an out. And Ahmed is an RN. And RN says it all goes G1. 
with a possible error and error one to ten if the picture is a one to ten error and um, he is not so that's two away Ahmed is out and that brings up Carson Kelly Carson Kelly, it's a 12, so on a 12, on the uh, 2D6s, that's a, a BD, but we'll ignore it. So we're going to have to roll that again. And it's a 7, which means that um, Kuzman is in charge, and it was a 23 reading. 23 on Kuzman's card is uh, a single to right field. So Carson Kelly gets a single, and that brings Robbie Ray to the plate, and that's going to reduce Robbie Ray, let's see, um, or that's going to reduce uh, him another one, and uh, Robbie Ray is up, that reduces Kuzman, so Kuzman is now down to a 10, and that is a 10 so it's on Kuzman's card Kuzman in charge and that's a 26 which is a strikeout so Robbie Ray strikes out and the Diamondbacks get nothing in the second we go to the top of the third and Joe Foy is up for the Mets Now the Mets, I think they got something. So Robbie Ray's down to a 14. And Joe Ford is up. And that was a 6. And that is a 13 on um, uh, Robbie Ray's card. And that is a single to center field. So Joe, Joe Foy gets a single. Or no, Joe Foy was the last out. So that was Jerry Grody. Um, but it still was on Robbie Ray's card. So it's a... Uh, right? Yeah. So it's a single. And now Jerry Kuzman is up with Grody on first. And that is a six. It's on Robbie Ray's card. And it is a 13. And that's going to be a base hit. Center, again, hit the center field. Uh, catcher running on that, so they're not going to send him. But it's runners at first and second with um, with no outs. And Tommy Agee. That is a seven, so um, it's outside of his range. So Tommy Agee's in charge, and he gets a uh, 43. And a 43 falls in the strikeout range. So he strikes out. That is a pretty big strikeout there for the for Robbie Ray. And Bud Harrelson is up. Still runners are at first and second. That is a four and it is a 65. So it's on um, Robbie Ray's card. And 65 is an out and Harrelson is an SN. And that is a fly out one, two away. And Harrelson is out. Or not, wait. Was that a single? I think that was a single. No, that was an out. that brings up Cleon Jones. And that's going to be Robbie Ray in charge. And it is a uh, 64. And that is an out. Cleon Jones is out. And he is um, an RN. And an RN is a G6 with an asterisk. So there's a possible error on the play. But there is none, so Cleon Jones is out. 
and the Mets get nothing in the top of the third. We go to the bottom of the third. Gerard Dyson, they're back to the top of the order for the Diamondbacks. And also we have to reduce Ray too. That is a 10, so it's going to be on Gerard Dyson's card, and it is an 84, and he is out. He's an LN. So LN is G4 with a possible error, and there is no error, so there's one away. Gerard Dyson is out here in the third. Cattell Marte is up. See, I like this method. It goes a lot quicker. An eight, and so Cattell Marte is in charge, and that is a, apparently a 33, and on a 33, he gets a double. So that's going to reduce Kuzman another one, and Marte is on second base. And David Peralta is up with a man at second and only one out. And that's a five, so Kuzman's in charge, and it is a 34, and a 34 is a strikeout. So Peralta strikes out, and that's a second out in the third for the Diamondbacks, and brings up Eduardo Escobar. And Escobar is a five, Kuzman is in charge on that, and that roll. That is a 54, and a 54 is an out. And Escobar is a BP. And all go G3. So that is the last out of the inning. Escobar is out. And we go to the top of the fourth in a scoreless game here between the 1970 Mets and the 2018 Diamondbacks. Mike Jorgensen is the batter. That is a seven, so Robbie Ray is not in charge. It's Mike Jorgensen, and the roll is a 16, so that's going to be a base hit. It is a double to right field. So Mike Jorgensen is on second, and that reduces Ray another one. Uh, double for Jorgensen. It brings Ken Boswell to the plate. Boswell, um, uh, what's his, um, Ray is in charge, and this is an 82, so that'll be an out, and Boswell is an LN, and LN is a, uh, L, is L4, so that's one out. And it was off Ray's card, so there's no error. So Boswell's out. One down, and Ron Swoboda is up. Oh, and we're not picking the card, we're rolling the dice. And that is an eight, so it's on Swoboda's card, but the roll is a uh, 67, and a 67 is a walk. So Swoboda walks. Fills in the base. There's only one out. And Joe Foy comes up to the plate with two on and only one out. And that's a seven. Um, Joe Foy is in charge and the roll is a 38. And on a 38, he walks and the bases are loaded for the Mets with only one out. Now, if you know me from the past, I don't like to bring the infield in, and so I'm not going to do that. They're going to hope for the double play. Jerry Grody's up, or a strikeout, or something that doesn't advance anyone. It's a 5, so it's on Ray's card, but it's a 22, and a 22 is probably going to be... No, it isn't. It's a strikeout. Jerry Grody strikes out, and that's what they were hoping. That's what they really needed right there. And Kuzman is up at the plate with the bases loaded and two down. And it's on Ray's card, and it is a 62. And 62 is an out, and he is an RN. We will pick the card to see what happens on that. 
It is a uh, G6 or GX6, uh, but we'll just check for the error because it would be the third out. And the error is none. So Kuzman is out. And he leaves three guys stranded on base. We go to the bottom of the fourth with Christian Walker up. Christian Walker stepping in. That is a five, so it is Kuzman in charge, and it is an 87, and he is out, and he was an RP, and um, I'll go G3A. So with a possible error, we will check the error, and it says none, so Christian Walker is out. Uh, leading off the bottom of the fourth for the, the D-backs, Adam Jones is up. Former Oriole. That is an 8, so he is in charge. And it is a 73, which is going to be an out. And he is an RN. And RN is G4A with a possible error. And the error is none. So Adam Jones is out. I like this. This game is cruising right along. And Nick Ahmed is up. And uh, that's a four, and Robbie Ray is in charge, and it is a uh, an 82, and an 82 is going to be an out. Nick Ahmed is an RN, and that goes all G go, all go G1, which is um, a possible error, but it would be the third out if there isn't, and it isn't. So Nick Ahmed is out. And we're going to the bottom, or we are going to the top of the fifth with the Mets sending Tommy Agee up against Ray. Ray and, um, and what, what did they have there? They got, uh, no, they got three outs. Okay. All right, I guess we're right. We're somewhere in the right area. Tommy Agee is uh, the batter in the top of the fifth. That is a 9, so AG is in charge, but it's a 57, and a 57 on his card is a, stri is a strikeout, yeah. So AG strikes out, leading off the fifth inning, one away for the Mets. But Harrelson's up. That is a 6, and uh, the roll is an 86, so that's going to be an out, and he's an SN. And SN is G4, GX4, possible error. There is no error. That's two down. So Harrelson is out. And uh, these pitchers, the pitchers are dominant this game. Cleon Jones is the batter. That is a seven, and that's a 22. Um, Cleon Jones is in charge, and on a 22, he gets a single to right field. And Cleon Jones is aboard. And that's going to reduce Ray another one. And brings up Mike Jorgens. Um, that is an 8. So Mike Jorgensen's in charge. And it is a 46. And on a 46, he gets a strikeout. So Jorgensen strikes out with a man at first. The Mets get no runs in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth in a scoreless still game with Carson Kelly, the catcher for the Diamondbacks, up at the plate. And that is a uh, six, and the roll is a 61. So um, Kuzman is in charge, and on a 61, it's an out. Carson Kelly's an RP. And I'll go G6X, uh, possible error. We pick for the error, and there is none, and that's one away. So Carson Kelly's out. And Robbie Ray is up, the pitcher. Of course, you know, they're not going to pinch hit for him. He's pitching great. That is an 8, and it is a 23 on um, Robbie Ray's card. And he strikes out. So there's two down, 
Robbie Ray strikes out, and that brings up the top of the order for the Diamondbacks and Gerard Dyson. That is an 8, and it's on Dyson's card, and it's a 62, which is an out, and he is an LN, and all go G6, GX5, and um, we'll check for the error, and there is no error. So Dyson was out. And again, the domination is just uh, hanging in the air here. As we go to the top of the sixth, the pitchers are owning this game. With Boswell, the leadoff batter for the 1970 Mets. And that is a nine, and it is on Boswell's card. It's a 35, and on a 35, he gets a walk. So Ken Boswell draws a walk that re reduces Ray to a nine. Lead off walk here in the sixth for uh, Robbie Ray issuing it, it to Ken Boswell and Swoboda up at the plate for the Mets. That's a nine. Swoboda's in charge. It's a 25. That's going to be something big maybe. Uh, it is a home run. Ron Swoboda goes deep and gives the Mets a two, what you would have to believe is an insurmountable uh, two-run lead. And that knocks Ray all the way down to a six. And Joe Foy is at the plate. So just a bad pitch to uh, Swoboda. Could be the difference here. Joe Foy, that's a six, so um, Ray is in charge, and it is a 57, which is a wild pitch, so we will roll it again. And on the re-roll, it is a 51, and on the 51, that is a walk. So Joe Foy walks. And so far, Ray hasn't even gotten an out here in the... Uh, in the sixth inning. And Jerry Grody's up. Jerry Grody gets a six. That's on Ray's card. It is a 52. And on a 52, he has a another walk. So he walks Grody. And yeah, he is really the control and the uh, and, and the bad pitches are coming back to haunt him here. Jerry Kuzman is up. They are going to... They're not going to sacrifice. They'll let him hit. Um, that's an 8. It's on Kuzman's card, and it is a 42. And a 42, that's a strikeout. One out. And really, the thing about this is, you know, he struck out. Didn't advance anybody, but he struck out. He didn't hit it on the ground. He didn't uh, cause a double play. So there's only one out. And AG up at the plate. And that's a seven. So it is on AG's card. And it is an 11. And an 11 is a single. And the bases are loaded. And this is, uh, this is bad news for the Diamondbacks. Because Ray, who was cruising, is all of a sudden in a lot of trouble. And uh, Bud Harrelson's up with the bases loaded and only one out. And that's a seven. It is on Harrelson's card. It is in uh, 78. 78 is an out. He's an SN. And all go F6, um, which is a foul out to the shortstop. And that's two away. That was Harrelson. There's two down with the bases loaded. The Mets are already up by two. And Cleon Jones at the plate. That is a nine. It's on Cleon Jones's card. It's a 53. And on a 53, he gets a walk. And that walks in a run. And there is a third run in for the um, Mets and Mike Jorgensen at the plate. And Ray is nearly gassed now. And that's an 11. It's on Jorgensen's card. And it is a 16. That's going to be something big. That is a double to uh, right field. Two runs score. 
and they batted around, not surprisingly. And now we're, we're only looking on Mets cards. Ken Boswell, because nobody was warming up, and really, I mean, at this point, you got a question. But anyway, six, uh, it doesn't matter, we're not rolling for that, so it is a 61. 61 on Boswell's card is an out, he's an LN. And that is G6A, possible error. And the error is none. So Boswell's out. He had two at-bats that inning, and the Mets scored one, two, three, four, five runs in the sixth, and all of a sudden it's 5 nothing. And Cattell Marte is up, but there's going to be action in, you might have uh, wondered. There is going to be action in the Arizona Diamondbacks uh, bullpen. And they are going to get um, they're going to get Andrew Chafin up in the pen. Or wait a minute. Uh, No, you know what? They're going to get Andrew Coke up, up. So Andrew Coke is warming up for the Diamondbacks in the bullpen. And meanwhile, the Diamondbacks are up, but they're down by five runs now. So uh, Cattell Marte steps in against Kuzman, who has been uh, pretty good. He's had some, you know, a little shaky inning here and there, but for the most part, he's been pretty good, and Marte up at the plate. That is a 9, and that is a 51 on um, Cattell Marte's card, and a 51 is a strikeout. So Marte is done right here in the 6th. David Peralta is up. David Peralta gets a six. That's on Kuzman's card. It's a 77. It's an out. He is an LN. And that says all go G1 with a possible error. And the error is uh, five to ten um, on the pitcher. But um, let's see. Kuzman is no. And so it's an out. And Peralta is is. Um, He's out very quickly, and Escobar comes up to the plate. And that is an 8, so it's on uh, Escobar's card, and it is a 56, and a 56 is a hit by pitch. So Escobar walks down to first with two down. And Christian Walker is out. And that is a 10, so Christian Walker's in charge, but it's a 68. And 68 is a hit by pitch. So Kuzman is wild by hitting two batters in a row and putting two Diamondbacks on base with Adam Jones at the plate. And that's a 9 and an 88. Um, it's on Kuzman's card, or it's on Adam Jones's card, and an 88 is obviously an out. And he is an RN, so they got to hope for the error. RN is a G4A, and uh, error says 4 to 10. So the first baseman for the Mets is. Um, uh, is Jorgensen and he's a two so that is not an error and it is an out and Adam, Adam Jones is, leaves uh, two guys stranded. We go to the top of the seventh and now um, Coke will be the new pitcher for the Diamondbacks and he is an RR20 so he'll go all the way up to 20 and uh, Coke will 
be inserted in the batting order for Robbie Ray. And um, the batter is Ron Swoboda in the seventh inning for the Mets. And that is an eight. And also, I have to reduce Kuzman, too. Um, that is an eight. And uh, it is on Swoboda's card. And it is a 25. And on a 25, he hits a home run. Swoboda, is that his second home run? I don't know if he hit the other one. But anyway, he's got one here. And so now that's another run, and Joe Foy is up, no outs. That's a five, so it is on Coke's card, and it is a 26. And a 26 is a single to center field. Foy gets a hit. All of a sudden, the Mets are this offensive juggernaut, and uh, that reduces actually he's down to he's down to a 17 although he's got a lot that he can reduce being a 20. Jerry Gross that is on the pitcher's card and it is a 14 and that is a single to left field so Grody gets a single and that reduces him to 16. Jerry Kuzman's up. Why not? Let him hit. I mean, you know, the hit parade. That is a 72, so he will be out. And uh, he is an RN. And it says, Oligo GX6. Uh, the air is 6 to 10. Um, so, uh, let's see. That was on the shortstop. The shortstop for the uh, Diamondbacks is Nick Ahmed. And he is a 2. And so that is not an out. Or I mean, that's not an error. So Kuzman is out. One down. And runners at first and second. Tommy Agee at the plate. That is an 11. Agee's in charge. But it is an 86. So he will be out. He's an RP. And I'll go F7. No error. So that's an out. And uh, Harrelson up at the plate, Bud Harrelson. Two down, runners at first and second. That's a five, so it's on the card. It's on the pitcher's card. It's an 88, and uh, that's an out. And he is an SN, and SN is a G4 with a possible error, and the error is none. Harrelson is out. And the Mets, uh... oh, wait. Okay, I was recording that in the wrong place, but anyway. Um, the Mets do get a run, though, in the seventh, and it's 6 nothing. And Cleon Jones will be the next hitter, yes, and when they come up again. Um, and Nick Ahmed is up now in the seventh. The Diamondbacks are in a lot of trouble because Kuzman is at just on cruise control, absolute cruise control here in the bottom of the seventh, right? Yeah. And that is a five, and it is a 75, and 75 on Kuzman's card is an out, and Ahmed is an RN. RN has uh, an FD7. Uh, fly out to deep left, and that's one away. Ahmed is out. Brings up Carson Kelly. That is a four, so on a four, it is um, Kuzman in charge, and it is a 43. 43 is a pass ball, so we will roll it again. And it is a 56, uh, or a 65 on the next roll. That is an out. Carson Kelly is an RP. 
and an RP is an F2, so there's two down. And that brings up Matt Coke. And they are going to pinch hit for Matt Coke. And they will get somebody up in the bullpen as well. Archie Bradley is up in the bullpen. And the pinch hitter pinch hitter will be um, Wilmer Flores. So Flores hitting for Coke with two down, right? And that is a nine. It's on Flores' card and it is an 18, which will be a base hit. Um, and it is a single to left field. So Flores gets a single. And Gerard Dyson is up. They have a lot of work to do though. Um, man at first, two down. As a five, it's on Kuzman's card and it's a 22. So it is a single to left field. They have two guys on. Of course, they're not going to stretch anything because they don't want to take any chances. They need base runners and runs. Um, and Cattell Marte up. Two down. And a nine. It's on Cattell Marte's card, but it's a 62. And it's an out. He's a BP. And that is all go F9, so he's out. Cattell Marte done. And no runs come in for the Diamondbacks. We go to the top of the eighth. The new pitcher comes on for the Diamondbacks, and that's Archie Bradley. And Cleon Jones will be the new batter that greets him here in the top of the eighth. And that is a 10, so it's on Cleon Jones' card. It's a 77. He's an out. That's an out. It's, he's an RN. I'll go G6X with a possible error. Error is 1 to 10. Um, and that's on the possibility on the shortstop. And what was it? Uh, 1 to 10, yeah. I mean, Ahmed makes an error. So, Cleon Jones is on by an error. And that is going to reduce, and Archie Bradley comes in, he is an RR7, and that reduces him already to a 6. Right off the bat with Jorgensen up. And that's a 7, so it is on Archie Bradley's card, and it is a, a 57. And 57 is an out, and Jorgensen is an LP. I'll go F4 with no air, so it's an out. One down, and Boswell at the plate. That is a 12, so on a 12, that's a, B, a BD, um, so we will check that out. Okay, we will roll the dice. That's an eight. Oh wait a minute! No, we rolled a two. We rolled a two. That is a fourteen, and a fourteen is um, double to right center. All runners score. So it's not getting any better here. Boswell gets a double that scores the run. And that is a hit and a run, and Swoboda's up. Now all of a sudden the Mets are an offensive juggernaut after going five scoreless inning. Seven, it's on Archie Bradley's card. It is a uh, 15, and that is going to be a single to center field. They're not even going to stretch it anymore. I mean, they're just kicking the butt here, and, you know. Joe Foy is up. 
Joe Foy, that's an 11. Um, 11 is a uh, CD. And uh, CD is, let's see, uh, we'll roll the, t roll the dice. And that is a 65. No action occurs, return to normal play. So I guess we'll just re-roll it again. That is a 10, and so that is a 27 on um, Joe Foy's card. 27 is a strikeout. So Foy strikes out for the second out. And Jerry Grody steps into the uh, up to the plate. Runners are at the corners. That is an 8. It's on his card. It's on uh, Grody's card. That's a 56, so that's an out. And... Uh, he is an RN, and all go F9, no error, so that's an out. And Grody is out. We go to the bottom of the eighth, or no, they did get a run. They got another run. So it's 7-0, uh, 1970 Mets right now, over the D-backs going to the bottom of the eighth. And uh, David Peralta is the batter for the D-backs. Is that right? Yep. And that's a six. It's on uh, Kuzman's card, and it is a uh, 15. So that's going to be a base hit. That reduces him. Peralta with a hit. In fact, actually, he's reduced, I think, two more. Peralta with a hit. Although at this point, you got to believe he's going to get the complete game no matter what. Even if they, you know, are going off the batter's cards only. Escobar got the plate, and that's a 7. That is on Kuzman's card, and it is a 53. And if 53 is an out, and Escobar is a BP, and all go G3 with a possible error, and the error is none. And the G3 is... Um, a ground ball to the first baseman so we will see if that was a double play or not double play grounder first first to shortstop back to first um, yep so it is it's a double play two down and Escobar just hit into a DP and uh, nothing's going right here for the Diamondbacks with Christian Walker. That is an 8, and it is a 51, and it is on um, uh, Christian Walker's card. 51 is a strikeout. So Christian Walker strikes out. The Diamondbacks get nothing in the 8th. We go to the top of the ninth. And the uh, Mets will send Jerry Kuzman to the plate. They're going to try to get him a complete game, particularly because he has a shutout going, uh, even though he is down to a 4. And that is a 10 and a 38. So it's on Kuzman's card, and it is a strikeout. And, um, yeah, Archie Bradley is still going to be out there. Um... Kuzman strikes out, and Tommy Agee's out. That is a six, and uh, that is on um, Bradley's card, but it's a 13, which is a single to left field. So Agee gets a single. That reduces Bradley to a two. Bud Harrelson at the point. That is a 9. It's on Harrelson's card, and it is a 38. And a 38 is a walk. And that reduces him to a 1. 70 Mets proving to be, it looks like, way too much for the 2018 Diamondbacks. Cleon Jones 
is at the plate. That is a 7. It's on Bradley's card for the moment. It's a 58, which is an out, and Cleon Jones is an RN. RN is Algo GX6 with a possible error. The error is none. Cleon Jones is out. And with two down and two runners on, Mike Jorgensen is up at the plate. He gets an 8, which is on his own card. It's a 58, and a 58 is an out. He is an LP. We will pick and see what happens there. I'll go G4 with a possible error, and there is none, and he is out, and the Mets do not score another run there, but they have seven. We go to the bottom of the ninth with the Diamondbacks needing seven runs right here. Off of Kuzman, who is probably tiring, but they want to get him the shutout. That is a six. It is on Kuzman's card, and it is an 84. That is an out. He is an RN. RN is uh, F5 with a possible error, and there is none. So uh, Jones is out. Nick Ahmed is up. Nick Ahmed gets a 9, and it is on his own card, but it is a 76, which is an out, and he is an RN. We'll pick for that. RN says F2 with no possible error, so that's an out. Two down, and they're down to their last out, and that's Carson Kelly, the catcher for the Diamondbacks. And that is a 4. It's on Kuzman's card, and it is a 14. So that's going to be a base hit. Carson Kelly with a single. Reduces Kuzman to a 3. And with the uh, pitcher spot coming up, they need another pinch hitter. And they will get... Um, They will get Jake Lamb to pinch hit. Jake Lamb pinch hitting. That is on Kuzman's card, and it is a 67, and that's an out, and he is an LN. We will pick the LN card and read it, and it says FD9 fly out deep to right field. No run score for the Diamondbacks, and they lose 7 to nothing. Robbie Ray got his butt handed to him in the 6th, and it was all downhill from there. Jerry Kuzman, on the other hand, got a shutout and wins the game 7 nothing. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.